Okay, and welcome to uh, bonus video number three. And in this video, we'll be writing the JavaScript using the jQuery library uh, to animate this whole accordion object. Uh, one change that I did make uh, since the last one was instead of doing that lighter color gray, I just didn't like that that much. I did like a blue color to kind of match the title, but I did it the exact same way in the CSS gradient generator and copied the code. There's other generators out there, but I like that particular one. And I will include this file in the source, official source. So let's go ahead and let's do the jQuery. Do a new file, call it script.js, because that is the file we are referencing in our index.html at the bottom, right here. And within the script, first thing we need to do is create a document.ready function. And I'm using the shorthand. And if you recall, what this does is it tells the script, it won't, it won't release any script until everything on the page is loaded. So, first thing we need to do is find the class of ACC container, which is going to contain all the content, and we need to hide it. So, let's see if that worked. And it did. So now everything's hidden. None of our buttons work yet, though. Uh, next thing that we need to do is find the class of accordion, accordion, and we're using a pseudo selector called first, which will find the first uh, instance of the accordion, and then we're actually going to tell it to find the next element on the page, which is going to be the uh, second, the, or the very first ACC container. Find the next one, and dot show it. And there we go. So now that works. So now when they come to the page, this will be showing. And you know what? Actually, we can do slide down. So now when they come, it will slide down nice and neat for them. And let me go ahead and comment these. Hide all con contents. Show first instance of contents. And now the next thing we need to do is write an if-then statement. And we haven't done this yet, but it's still very similar to what we've done in the past. So find all the accordion classes, and on a click, run a function. Just like we've done in the past. And here we need to say if the class of accordion And then next, so we really want the class of accordion and the next element, which is the ACC content, is, and this is kind of cool, hidden. So we're checking to see if it's, uh, if it's hidden or if it's being shown. Then we can tell it to find the class of accordion. Sorry about this typing. And then the next, like we've been doing, and we can tell it to slide up. And finally, we can say this, which is talking about accordion, dot next, which would be the content again, slide down. So basically, what this will do, then we need to end our statement. And then after that, we need to return false, which will prevent the browser default. Well, let me go ahead and comment this. <coughs> uh, triggers um, slide down of contents. triggers the hiding of contents. And that, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It checks to see if it is hidden. So let's see if this works. Let's see if I type this out right. Reload the page. And it doesn't work. What have I done here? Accordion. Accordion.
Hmm. Oh. Right here. This should be this. Talking about accordion. We've already selected it. Sorry about that. Still not working. Oh, and we have to tell jQuery to find it. Okay, now I think we're in business. There we go. So now it's all working as said. So as you can tell I had some issues there, but um, everyone does. It's just part of it. The more you do it, the faster you'll be able to find your issues and be able to figure it out. But as you can tell, it all seems to be working just fine. So. That is the Awesome Accordion. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, an awesome place to go to learn jQuery is the jQuery website itself, jQuery.com. They have tons of really great tutorials uh, that will walk you through just about everything you need to know. That's part of the reason jQuery is so great is because how extensive uh, of tutorials they offer on learning the um, on learning the library itself. So I'm gonna wrap this up there. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any tutorials. I'm gonna go ahead and get cracking on the documentation for the site. Uh, if you recall, we can go to uh, scottstevens.com slash ssblog and you'll be able to download the complete documentation right here. You'll be able to download the complete site right here. You'll be able to view all these videos here. And then if you need to reach me or wanna leave comments, go to learnnerd.com and all the videos will be posted on this site as well. But I won't have the source files posted here, so you'll need to make sure you get those from the CMS site itself. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys ever have any requests for more tutorials, let me know because I think I'm gonna keep making tutorials sometimes in my spare time. Uh, I have a long ways to go before I can master any uh, extremely challenging things, but I'm up for a challenge if you want to throw them my way. So you guys have an awesome summer and take care.